Howdy everyone, got a nice treat for you in this video. I'm going to be showing you the 64 piece Rise of the Rune Lords Pathfinder Battle Set. And this is from 2012. And there are a ton of miniatures, like I said, 64, ranging from small to a huge 3x3 base. And it has a beautiful variety of miniatures, everything from heroes to iconic heroes, and then to monsters. It has 20 common miniatures, 24 uncommon miniatures, and 20 rare miniatures. Now, when these were made back in 2012, they were the first, as we know, Pathfinder Battles and their booster boxes. This was the first set that they actually transitioned away from the old Heroes and Monsters individual packs to, you know, the multi-pack. And from what I understand, there were two sizes. Now, the small, medium, and large miniatures, they would come in the small booster box like you would see. And then the huge miniatures, there's four of them in this set, they came in a larger box. And there was only one uh, in that in that box from what I'm from what I'm uh, taking from it. So I could be wrong. There could have been three other miniatures in the pack, but I don't I don't think there was. I think it was just the huge miniature in the larger box. So unfortunately, I was unable to find a full case of this. Granted, it is nine years old. This is probably one of the more popular sets. I mean, it is from Rise of the Rune Lords. So I had to buy each one of these miniatures individually, and it costs a lot. It was probably between $450 to $550 for the entire 64-piece miniature set. And that doesn't even include the Rune Giant, where I paid $100 bucks for it. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get these minis up on the wheel. Can't wait to show you. All right, so miniature number one is a bugbear hero. Starting off good. You can never have too many bugbears, right? Or goblins or anything like that. Yeah, this is a... Uh, the hero actually has a bow. Looks like a long bow. Quiver. Nice detail on the armor. This is actually a pretty big mini for a uh, medium size base mini. This is a common... And this is the bugbear hero. I love the scream that he has on his face. And he has like a bone trinket necklace. Nice girdle. Nice detail on the padded armor. Nice bracers, etc. So, yeah, really nice. Bugbear hero, number one of 64. Number two is the goblin commando. Goblin Commando has a nice bone helmet and a light brown armor. He's got his big pointy goblin teeth. And he has a goblin spear or goblin halberd, one of the two. I like these. You'll notice that in the early sets, especially the first couple, the miniatures are on like this small little miniature base, as you can see the goblin is standing on. And then they take that miniature on its small base and then they put it on the big base, which on the bottom, it labels the set, which is initialed as RR for Rise of the Rune Lords. And then it tells you what miniature it is uh, and the number. So, yeah, Goblin Commando, number two of 65. It is also common and it is on a small base. Number three is the Goblin Dog on a medium base. I like the dry brush look on this. And in fact, I think this Goblin Dog, the same Goblin Dog is also in the Weeby Goblins special set also. I think it had 12 miniatures in that set, but it's all nothing but goblins and goblin riders and goblin dogs and stuff. Really cool, you can take a look at that video on my channel as well. So yeah, Goblin Dog, number three is 65. It's common, and it's on a medium base. We've got another Goblin for number four. This is the Goblin War Chanter. He's also on a small base, and he's got a lot of detail, actually. I love the red eyes. They're so distinctive. He's got his short bow, his quiver. He's got a little goblin dog slicer. He's got a he's got a whip in his left hand. Lots of detail on this little miniature. 
And he's also got a nice bone, very distinctive bone necklace also. So yeah, this is really nice. The Goblin War Chanter, number 464, or well, 65 if you include the Rune Giant. So you'll probably be hearing me saying 64 or 65. So just think, just remember there are 65 with this incentive, but 64 in the set. So on to number five, which is the Kobold Champion. Nice to see this is the first Kobold miniature in Pathfinder Battles. It's on a small base as well. I love the long tail on this kobold, how it kind of wraps around. He has a spear, has some armor on, on his legs, on his shoulders, he's got a helmet. Nice, uh, nice colors, the brown and white. I, I've always liked the way kobolds have looked in Pathfinder. So yeah, this is really nice. The kobold champion, number five of 65. It is also common and it is on a small base as well. Number six, on a medium base, this is a Faceless Stalker. He's got a nice sickle. I'm not too sure what kind of abilities or anything that the Faceless Stalker has, so it's kind of a new monster to me. But he looks, uh, he looks like he's fixing a tip over, doesn't he? <laughs> but I do like the sickle, and it, there, you know, there's not a lot of detail. I mean, he, he's, uh, he's definitely in good shape, that's for sure. And uh, he's just got like a brown dry brush look to him. And he's got that sickle. So not a lot of, uh, there is, he's got a mullet haircut as well. Ladies, got them, <laughs> he's got the mullet. So yeah, this is the Faceless Stalker, number six. And he's common and on a medium base. Number seven is the ghoul. I believe this ghoul's also in the undead horde series and you can also see that video on my channel but this ghoul like like pa paizo loves to have tongues sticking out especially with their undead but i do like the face of this ghoul i love the pointy ears the red eyes i love the skull that he's holding like he's fixing to chuck it at someone definitely looks like a definitely looks like your typical type of ghoul but yeah, this looks really nice. The ghoul, number seven is 65. It is common and it is on a medium base. Now next is a, is a nice looking mini. This is the harpy. And there's not, you know, I've noticed that there's not a lot of harpy miniatures out there that are at least, you know, findable as usually they're all rare or ultra rare, but this is actually common. It's on a medium base, and uh, I like this female harpy. She looks really good. I like the wings. I like the detail on the wing, and I like the the slight, very light ghost white type of dry brush on it. I like how her hair is back. Yeah, this looks really good. She's got huge hands. She's got some armor on, nice distinctive facial features, but I do like the pose of this. Looks like she kind of just landed and she took a step forward. That yeah, looks really good. But I do like the wings. They look they look super good. And they're not flimsy either. They're really actually really solid. So the harpy is rare. I'm sorry, the harpy is common on a medium base, and it's number eight of 64. Number nine is the Ogre Kin. And this is a very ugly mini. It kind of looks like Sloth from the Goonies with this huge big growth on the side of his head. Mama, baby Ruth. Yeah, he's got a sickle as well. They got a lot of sickles. Uh, he's got his loincloth, got some sandals on. The Ogrekin. Ooh, he's actually got, uh, he's got six fingers. He's got five, five digits and a thumb. So, yeah. Yeah, nice dis distinctive facial features, though. I mean, for sure, with his mouth kind of frowned and opened up. You can see his few teeth that he has, and his eyes are really nicely done. Now, the Ogrekin, number 9 of 65, on a medium base, and it is common. On to number 10, which is a Yeth Hound. Kind of looks like the, doglin, uh, the Goblin Dog. 
has black paw, well, black claws and very bony structure. Really nice looking dog though. Nothing, nothing too spectacular. No armor, nothing like that. But really nice looking head with the ears and the very black, distinctive inset inlaid eyes and the mouth and the the very white teeth. You know, this looks really good. The Yeth Hound, number ten, and it is also on a medium base, and it is common. So we're halfway through the commons now. Eleven is the Denizen of Lang, and definitely a nice looking mini. I love the robes, and especially I like all the detail on the robes with the belt and and everything else like that. He's got like a sword and a scabbard and got his arms back. Nice, uh, I guess that would be a turban that he has. And he's got his COVID-19 mask on, so that's that's good. Yeah, good looking mini, really nice. He's got some type of ornamentation on his, on his turban also. Cool, nice uh, light blue skin. So this is the Denizen of Lang, number 11 of 65. It is also common on a medium base. Uh, here's a cute little red cap, number 12. And wow, his scythe is actually bigger than he is. And he's on a small base. And the red cap is also common. But yeah, really nice, nice detail. Nice little pointy red hat. Looks like a yard gnome. You know what? Somebody stole my yard gnome out from in front of my house. Unbelievable. Somebody took my yard gnome. Unbelievable. I hope that brings them bad luck. I hope their house catches on fire or something. So the red gap. Yeah, it's got a lot of detail. Especially for the size of it. I mean, even for a small mini, this is this is really small. But that scythe, though, that scythe is as big as him. The red cap, number 1265, common on a small base. Number 13 is the Sin Spawn. Yeah, this looks good. I love his long arms. And I don't like his tattered clothing to where you can see his flesh in the holes. Black claws, wicked looking face. I mean, huge, just indentured sockets for his eyes. The Sin Spawn also has a tongue sticking out. Got big old tusk hanging out of his mouth as well. So, not too sure what the Sin Spawn is or does, but the Sin Spawn definitely looks wicked. It's on a medium base, it's 13 of 65. I'm just gonna say 65 from here on out. So yeah, nice mini. Here's another Sin Spawn at number 14. This is a Sin Spawn Axeman. He's actually got a lot more going on than the other uh, Sin Spawn. Same type of face, same type of facial features. He's actually got armor on. He's uh, got a huge two-handed axe. It looks really nice. Two-handed, double-bladed battle axe. Looks good. But I do like the I like the shoulders with the spikes on them. And his and his face has got good detail too. Got a lot. Got a little bit lighter, fleshy colored skin than the other Sin Spawn. So. All right, this is a Sin Spawn Axeman, number 14 of 65, still common on a medium base. Number 15 is the Skin Saw Cultist. Now this dude looks creepy. I like the hood, but that is a wicked mask as well. Looks like out of something out of like World War I, like a gas mask or something like that. Sin Spawn Cultist. He's got cool robes on. Lots of detail on the robe with the gold, little gold trinkets and gold shoulder plates on it. Looks like he might be wearing like a, uh, maybe a chainmail, scale mail leggings. And then he's got a, a wicked looking sword, maybe a 
short sword, long sword, maybe a yeah. Skin Soul Cultus number 15 of 65. Common on a medium base. Number 16, here's a familiar miniature that we've seen a couple of times already. This is the uh the Alu Demon, and this looks like the Succubus. But this uh, Alu Demon has much it's the same type of succubus miniature, but the wings on this one are much smaller and she does not have a tail. She's on the same type of uh, floating type of clear transparent base, which I really like. She's got on some wicked type of, I don't know, costume, <laughs> garb or regalia or maybe, I don't know, maybe a... Uh, like a bikini or something or lingerie but she's got she's got a black horns and purple hair so that's cool and then i like the color of her wings as well so yeah this is the hollow demon 1665 we're still in the commons here's a really nice miniature for a common this is the uh the lamia katrina and it looks like a big old demonic type of vulture and it's also on like a clear transparent base as well and this thing looks really nice and it's it's a massive miniature for being on a minute uh, on like a medium base but i like the pose on this and i i, I know they had to squat them down because if they would have stood this thing up it this thing would have been massive even more massive than it already is but i do like the wings and I love the the pink, how it's kind of dry brushed into the into the feathers. We yeah, have great head on this thing too. The Lamia Kutrima. Medium base. Common miniature. Beautiful miniature for being common. On to number 18. This is the Shining Child. And this, oh wow, this miniature is, I just noticed this. This miniature is actually fully transparent. It's like a, like a purplish or maybe root beerish color. All you kids out there are probably like, what's root beer? <laughs> but yeah, you know, and I, uh, it's like in a transparent, a full on transparent mini. And then it has the hairs colored, of course. So it's on a medium base and it is common as well. It's called the Shining Child. Cool looking mini though. She's got big arms and big hands too. She might be able to also knuckle drag it. She may be able to drag her hands on the ground like us primitive primates. <laughs> Number 19 is the Warrior of Wrath. She looks really good. She's like a Scottish warrior with his with her huge two-handed bastard sword or big old claymore. Charging in, screaming, yelling. She's got face paint on. She's got long hair. Yeah, really nice armor. Like a uh, scale mail tabard. Scale mail leggings. Leather leggings. Boots. Yeah, really nice. She's ready to split your skull in half. But the Warrior of Wrath. Number 1965. And she is common. And on a medium base. Here's another familiar miniature that we've seen. Here is the Wraith. We've seen this a couple of other times in the Champions of Evil set and also in Heroes and Monsters. And this, uh, the Wraith is, it, this is usually a transparent mini, but they've got it painted all black. And they did leave the hair as transparent, sort of like an orangish transparency. So, yeah, I like it. I like this style of mini. It's, it's pretty nice. You can never have too many undead and wraiths. In fact, I believe the same wraith, although it being a different color, I think it's also in the Undead Horde set also. So this is number 20 of 65. This is the last of the common minis. And this is a wraith on a medium base. All right, number 21. I love this miniature. This is the Goblin Commando on a goblin dog and it, you don't see a lot of these especially with like small creatures kobolds goblins yeah actually riding a goblin dog love it charging into battle 
This is an uncommon. This is the first of the uncommons. It's 21 to 65. Great looking mini. Great detail on the dog. Dog's ferocious saliving. Goblins in armor. Nice little uh, horns on the helm. He's got his uh, little goblin hauberg or spear. Yeah, really nice mini. Number 21, the Goblin Commando on Goblin Dog. And this is uncommon. Number 22 is Jackadrus Sovark. Jackadrus Sovark, some NPC. Looks like a uh, looks like a human ranger. He's got an eye patch. And he's got uh definitely maybe a probably a ranger maybe a rogue i don't know kind of looks like a ranger he's probably one of the npcs in the in the rise of the rune lords adventure path but he's he's got a lot of nice details especially with all the studs on his armor and stuff i like his gauntlets his leggings the bows a couple different colors but that eye patch you don't see too many minis with eye patches and i can like that and he's got a very distinctive, like, fur burger mustache also. And then he's got some white on the sides of his, uh, you know, above his ears uh, for sort of like the silver fox look. Got a quiver. All that. He's got a huge quiver. Holy cow. He's not going to run out of arrows anytime soon. So there you go. There's a Jakadros Savark, number 22 of 65. And he is uncommon. Number 23, another named NPC, Lyrie Akenja. He's on a medium base, uh, just like the last ranger and the goblin war dog. They're on medium bases as well. Yeah, she looks really good. A lot of detail. Oh, and she's got a cat down there by her by her leg, too. Look at that. Yeah, she looks like some type of like wizard or cleric or something like that. Probably a cleric. She's got uh, she's got barely anything on up top though. Great looking mini. I like the white and the green and the gold mixed in. That looks really good. Looks like she's got some some scroll tube containers. I like the cloak. I like the hooded cloak. Yeah, I like it. And then she has a darker complexion as well, which is nice. Yeah, really beautiful mini miniature. Uh Leary Akenja. She's uncommon and she's number 23. Number 24 is another NPC, Amiko Kajitsu. And wow, she is oh my goodness, she must be a bard. Because she's she's wielding like a like maybe a short sword or a long sword, but she always has like she has a a guitar on her back as well. I think that's called a guitar, like a Middle Eastern type of uh, instrument. She looks really good. Holy cow! She's got like a pale skin. She's got all kinds of detail on her on her armor, on her boots. I like her boots. Holy cow! She's got big old boots on. Great looking armor. She's got a, a nice looking scabbard. Sword looks good. Yeah. Looks like she's got a tattoo on her arm, or that may be maybe her hair. Yeah. Amiko Kajitsu, number 2465. She's uncommon and she's on a medium base. Here's number 25. This is Harsk. I know that Harsk is one of the iconic heroes, and he is a dwarf ranger. And he is uncommon on a medium base. And he uses a crossbow. He has an axe. He's got all kinds of equipment, adventuring gear. He's got a cloak. Great looking beard. Great looking beard with all of the... Uh, all of the fastenings and stuff like that in his uh, beard and in his hair. You can actually see the detail of his, of his beard also, which looks nice. Really nice looking quiver, lots of detail on his armor, all kinds of gadgets and gadgets hanging off of his belt. Yeah, I think he's got a, I think he's got a companion pet too, but I don't, I don't see it. So 
But this is Harsk, number 25. Uh, he is an iconic hero, and he is rare on a medium base. So here is our first large miniature of Rise of the Rune Lords, and it's number 26. This is the Lamia Matriarch, and she looks great. Wow, this, this texture of their, her snake body feels really cool. I mean, uh, the scales are very, very detailed. Yeah, she looks awesome. She's in good shape. She must work out a lot. Uh, two weapon fighting or dual wielding swords. Maybe like a short katana. I love the long handle on them. She's got long hair. Yeah, it looks really good. Nice skin color. Look at that. I sound like a hairdresser. Distinctive eyes. Her eyes are actually really big, though. Got like a dark, dark lipstick on. The Lamia Matriarch, number 26, also uncommon and on a large two by two base. Now, this is a really cool looking miniature. This is uh, the Malfesh Nikor. And this definitely looks like something like vampire ish. And this is number 27 on a large two by two base. Yeah, this thing looks awesome. I love the dry brushing, the dark with the white. I love the the, the paws, the humanoid types of hands. Yeah, and I like how the tail's kind of up and turned around. But yeah, this uh, the face on this thing is just amazing. I love the the flesh colored ears and I like the mouth, the nose, the eyes. Just it's intimidating. See this in a in a bad dream. The Malfeshnikor, number 27 of 65. It is uncommon and it is also on a medium base. Here is Orc Van Kaskeren, number 28. He looks like a like some type of paladin or a fighter, maybe a cleric. He's armed to the hilt. He's got a huge big old one or two-handed. Uh, bastard sword. He's got a beautiful shield. Look at that shield with the face on it and all the detail. I love that. I love that kind of detail. He's got a long bow. He's got a quiver. Yeah, this guy is armed to the hilt. Nice armor. He's got like a uh, like a scale mail. He's got like a plate helmet. But that shield, I do like that shield though. That looks really good. Orc Van Kaskerken, oh, Van Kaskerken, number 28 of 65, uncommon, and on a medium base. Number 29, we've got another NPC. It looks like maybe uh, a, another ranger. This is Suto Kajitsu. Didn't we have one Kajitsu already? Maybe this is her brother or something. I don't know. Or father. Definitely uh, has a nice bow. Light armor, yeah, probably a ranger or rogue or something like that. Don't don't see any other. I see a couple pockets, a quiver, nice green and brown look with the you know the white the white type of open ended shirt. Yeah, this looks really good. Looks like an elf, maybe elf or half elf, with the pointed ears. Nice hair though. I like the pointed the pointed tip towards the top. Nice facial features. Suto Kajitsu, number 29 of 65, uncommon on a medium base. Number 30, Vale Temros, another, uh, another, wow, this guy's two weapon fighting. This is probably another ranger or fighter. Really nice looking mini. Holy cow, look at the detail on this guy. And I love the, the darker skin tone as well. Two, he's dual wielding uh, axes. Yeah, look at all the detail on, on his belt, all the pockets. Oh, that looks really good. It's got to be like a ranger or fighter or rogue or something like that. Looks really good, though. I like this many. Uh, Bale Temros, number 30 of 65. Uncommon on a medium base. So here's another NPC, number 31. This is Kaven. I like that name, Kaven. I'm going to name my next child Kaven. I'm just kidding. I'm not having any more kids. 
<laughs> Too old for that. Caven Windstrike, 31 of 65. This is uh, on a medium base as well. Still uncommon. Yeah, he's definitely got some pirate, pirate look to him. Probably a rogue, maybe assassin. Yeah, it looks really good. He's got like a, uh, maybe a saber. He's got like a small dagger or dirk. Be careful of his uh, scabbard. It's kind of a little flimsy. That could break off if you grab it wrong, but he looks good. I like his fluffy, fluffy shirt, his vest, all kinds of little pockets on his belt and pouches. Yeah, it looks really good. This is Caven Windstrike, 11, uh, 31 of 65, uncommon on a medium base. Oh, wow, here's a beautiful miniature. This is Kaleeb. I almost thought this is a, a, a female mini at first, but I'm guessing this is a male, Kaleeb, 32. He, uh, he, she, shim. <laughs> He looks good though. I love the rib, especially all the different, the black, the purple, the white, the gold, the green. Wow, he's got a huge Mr. T starter kit for a necklace. He's got an open spell book. He's got a, a great looking staff. And it looks like he's got huge red gems sticking out of the top of the staff. That's really cool though. I, I do like the spell book though. Looks like he's kind of looking down, casting a spell. Probably casting magic missile or hold person or something like that. Kaleeb, number 32 of 65. Great looking mini. And uh, it's on a medium base and is common. So here is number 33. Can't have enough ogres. I love ogres. And I love the way that these ogres look, actually. And this is number 33. It's on a two by two large base. And look at that big old, that is a that is a huge, huge club. I would not want to get hit by that. Great detail on the ogre though. I love all the skulls on the belt. It looks so good. Skulls in the front, he's got like six skulls. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, leather belt. Very m muscular. He's got some cloth bracers on. Yeah, he looks good. I love the detail on all his muscles and stuff. It looks really good. And the face looks, man, the face is stellar. That is so evil looking. The eyes and the teeth and just the face that he has with the ears and the nose. It looks so good. So this is number 33, Ogre. It's, uh, Uncommon on a large two by two base. Number 34 is another ogre. This is the ogre brute. And this ogre brute looks amazing. Wow. There's a lot more bone stuff going on on this ogre. Yeah, got a bunch of skulls and other bones hanging off. Teeth fangs. Yeah, I mean the muscles just look awesome on these on these two ogres. Looks really good. He's also got a sickle in his hand. Looks like he's fixing to jump. Yeah, this is a this is a great looking ogre. Ogre brute number thirty four sixty five uncommon on a large two by two base. So here we are, number thirty five. And this is Siona. She's also a iconic hero. And she is a human sorcerer. Yeah, I, I really like the way that her, that her character looks. She looks awesome. I just like all of the, I like all of the paint and stuff that she has on her face and on her arms, on her body. Yeah, her, her cloak looks awesome. She's got that long, those long ponytails that go all the way down to the ground, basically. Yeah, she looks so good. She's a pretty miniature. She's real pretty. Olcioni, the human sorcerer. Yeah, she's an iconic hero. And yeah, she's got a lot going on, too, with all kinds of, like, straps and bracers and... 
pockets and weapons hanging off of her. Yeah, she looks really good. Number 35 of 65, this is Sione, the iconic hero. She also has her staff on her back as well. She is uncommon. On to number 36. This is Shalalu and Dasana. Shalalu and Asana. She's definitely a ranger as well. She looks like an elf, pointy ears, long golden hair. Beautiful, like a silver or ironwood type of crossbow. Beautiful multicolor quiver and arrows. Look at that armor with all of the all of the iron studs on it. Jeez. These miniatures look really good, especially for 2012. I mean, it's not the most perfect paint job, but it still looks really good to me. She's got some other weapons, and she's got some feathers in her hair. I was kind of wondering what that is. It looks like she's got a couple of long white feathers kind of tied to her ponytail. But that quiver looks so good. Look at the detail in that quiver. So nice. Beautiful miniature. Shallaloo and a sauna 36 of 65 and she is uncommon on medium base oh wow she looks this next miniature looks beautiful also this is number 37 uh viorian de conti wow she looks beautiful she has got to be like a paladin or a fighter she is absolutely stunning this is one of my favorite minis in this set yeah, I love this cloak. She's got the uh, the fur on the back. Winter is coming. She's got a couple of horns hanging off of her shoulders. She's got a horned he horned helm. Beautiful sword. Look at that shield. I love that shield also. That was like the first thing that caught my eye. Like a huge old beautiful red gem in the middle of her shield. And I like the detail on it. I like the the point, the spikes at the top or the points at the top and the chevrons and the shield that looks so good. Her armor looks so good also. Nice detail. Got a belt on with another one of those red gems or orbs. Wow. Beautiful miniature. This is number 37. Uncommon. Viorian de Conti. She's on a medium base as well. All right, so number 38 is a really nice basic type of miniature, the Dire Bear on a large base. This Dire Bear actually looks really good, too. I like the pose of it where the bear is just snarling, big old huge fangs just swiping at the target. Very nice, distinctive, sharp claws. Yeah, this is a nice bear, actually. No, you Oh, it's just a bear, but I mean, this dire bear looks really good. And I mean, you could use this as a regular bear also. It doesn't have to be just for a dire bear. Yeah, it looks really good. Beautiful bear. Number 38 of 65, the dire bear. It is uncommon. So here we go with a couple of stone giants. I love these stone giants. They are on a rare, uh, I'm sorry, they are uncommon, and they're on a 2x2 two two large base. And I just like the way that the stone giants look. These guys look awesome. I love the flat heads that they have. Yeah, this guy looks good. I love the, the cloth that he has on with the ornamentation. I just like the way that he looks. I love his face, sort of like a, like a totem pole look type of face cool looking spear i like how he's actually standing on stones on the base well this miniature's got a lot of dust on it <laughs> and i'm sure with the 4k cam with the wheel you're probably like wow it's a bunch of dust <laughs> he needs to clean those things so yeah this is a stone giant this is a uh, uncommon number 39 Here's another stone giant, which is number 40, doing what stone giants love to do, picking up big old stone boulders and throwing them at you. And he has a spear. He actually has a, a, a sword on his belt. He's, he's on the same type of stone base as well. But yeah, this, 
I love this guy, how he has the, the stone up in the air, just looking down at his target, just saying goodbye <laughs> and dropping it on him. Oh, I love these minis. Stone Giant Champion, number 40 of 65. This is also uncommon. Number 41 is Vrexeris, 41 of 65. He looks like a human, maybe uh, maybe a rogue. Really nice detail though. He's got like a like a headband on with a looks like a gem. He's got a nice haircut. <laughs> Purple and black cloak, got a dirk, like a curved dirk dagger. But yeah, I, I love the armor that he has. I mean, it, there's so many colors. There's a metallic color, brown, like a sand clay red, black, blue, white. Yeah, this looks good. I like the colors on this. This would be good for like some type of uh, maybe council member or something that you would run into to have a maybe an audience with yeah this looks good vrexeris number 41 of 65 uncommon on a small base here's a lamia number 42 of 65 holy cow this miniature is so dirty also i apologize for the dust on the mini uh i love this Lamia. It is on a two by two large base, but this is actually a pretty small mini for being on a large base. But she looks good though. I like her. I, I hate to say it, but I like her hair kind of flowing like that. She looks good. She's pretty. She's party for a miniature. It's got a curved dagger, uh, like a dirk, and then she's on like a uh, like a mountain lion type of body. Oh, I just noticed her Mr. Teeth starter kit that's around her waist also. They're really nice. Beautiful miniature. Melamia, number 42 of 65. It is uncommon, and it is on a large 2x2 two two base. Now, here's an awesome miniature. Look at this. The Wendigo, number 43. Wow. That's a creature... Uh, creepy monster from lore yeah and i like how he's floating on a like a clear like misty type of base yeah the wendigo creepy he's a little stiff looking though i wish he had a little bit more maybe a little bit more free flow to it but it does look good though i mean this is another one of the better looking miniatures in the set it's on a two by two base it is also uncommon Nice horns, though. Nice face, though. Really nice head. I like how they kind of put a black armor on the mouth with the 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 inner red of the mouth and the teeth and the red around the eye. The different colors uh, for skin tone on the arms. Yeah, this looks really good. The fur on the shoulders. Yeah, it looks really good. The Wendigo, number 43 of 65. And uh, this is an uncommon miniature. Can't go without having a Yeti, can you? Number 4465. This is uncommon on a 2x2 two two large base. And wow, look at this. This, uh, this Yeti has some skulls. Is the Yeti real? Do you think it is? I don't know. Let me know down in the comments section. Do you believe in the Wendigo? Do you believe in the Yeti? The Abominable Snowman, Bigfoot. Nice dry brush, though. Good looking face, though. Nice fangs, distinctive fangs. Toes. Fingers are colored. He's got like a ooh, he's got like a thick, tough skin for his, on his chest. He's got a loincloth. Yeah. Good looking Yeti. 44 is 65. And it is also uncommon on a medium base. Here's number 45. This is the first rare. So the next, you know, 20 miniatures are going to be rares. And you only usually get one of these. But this is Aldern Foxglove. And this is another great looking NPC or townsfolk. It looks like a noble. He's got like a very high quality looking walking stick 
looks like someone out of England in the, you know, 1700s. Definitely high class for sure. Got like a gold and blue suit on. Nice detail. He's got his little fluffy scarf coming out of his chest area. Nice detail on his vest. A really nice looking mini. Got his hair in a long ponytail. Got good facial features. He's got like a boxer's chin. Aldern Foxglove, number 45. He is rare on a medium base. Ooh, here is a named over. This, so this is our third over in the set. And this is Jagrath Krieg, number 46. And he looks like the other two overs, but he has a sickle. And he has the same. Ooh, he's even got like a horn skull on his belt in the front. He must work out like the other overs. He's got nice spiked World of Warcraft shoulder pads. He's got his ooh type of face. <laughs> I like it though. This is a Jograth Krieg, number 46. He is rare and he's on a large two by two base. Number 47, Lucretia. She's also rare on a medium base. She's a pretty mini. She's holding her goblet. She's probably drinking some red wine at some type of social gathering. Nice long red hair, nice brown and green dress. I like the stripes at the bottom. I like those little details. She's got some fur around the shoulders. Hmm. She's definitely enjoying herself with her goblet. So this is Lucretia, number 47 of 65, and she is rare on a medium base. Next, we have the Scribbler. He looks pretty cool. He's got his COVID-19 mask on, so he is being safe. He is social distancing himself from others. He's got like a falchion sword. Is that a falchion? He's also saying, come to me. I'm going to take you out. Nice detail on his armor. He's got a couple of skulls. Oh, my goodness. Look at that weapon that he has on his back. Why would you be holding this falchion when you have access to this weapon and it looks like a one-handed weapon also wow that is a wicked weapon spikes big old fat blade wow it's got like a couple of plates on it maybe to block other shots coming in on you yeah, really nice though so. this is the scribbler number 48 of 65 he is also medium and on a uh, he's a medium base and also considered rare. Ooh. Here is the Skinsaw Man, number 49. He's part of royalty as well with his gold and blue dapper suit on. Got some light yellows, some oranges, some whites. Got some buckles on his shoes. He definitely looks like he's undead. He's got a bloody sword. He must have just hacked up Lucretia. The redheaded, she, he didn't like the wine that she was drinking because she looked, she took the last bit of wine. So he probably killed her and took her, but he doesn't have a goblet, but he's got blood all over him. And of course, in undead fashion for Paizo, he has a long tongue sticking out as well. But he has blood all over him. I think this is blood all over him. But this is the skin saw man, 49, rare miniature on a medium base. Wow, look at this, Manny. This thing looks good. Number 50, High Lady of Throxus. Wow, look at that weapon that she has. Holy cow. Flames coming off of it. It's like a, like a trident or a spear. Wow, she looks absolutely amazing. This, this is probably one of the best minis in the set. Beautiful armor, red and black armor. I wonder if she, let me know down in, even, in the uh, comment section, is she evil or good? But yeah, she looks really good. And I love how that fire kind of just like wraps around the miniature and wraps around the base. And this looks really good. And I like how she has like bat heads on her knees and stuff. 
Beautiful miniature. Absolutely gorgeous. This is High Lady Athroxis. She is rare on a medium base and is number 50. Oh, here's another beautiful miniature. The Mithril Mage, number 51. He's also rare on a medium base. First thing that caught me is a staff. Look at that staff. It's got a blue orb on each end. That is awesome. And then look at the detail wrapped around that staff. Wow. He definitely has a mithril colored skin and I love the gold and green look for his robe. And then he has all kinds of other detail as well. He's holding it up saying, fireball for everyone. Or meteor showers. <laughs> I don't even think meteor showers in Pathfinder, but yeah. Got like a dagger coming out of the front of his uh, sash that he has wrapped around him. Yeah, really nice. So this, the detail in this miniature is beautiful. The Mithril Mage, number 51 of 65, medium and on a rare base. Here's another beautiful miniature. Is this the Mithril Woman? No, this is a uh, Rune Lord Karzog. This must be an important person because th this mini actually has a statue miniature at the end of the series too. But I like that clear, transparent spell that he's casting, Rune Lord Karzog. I guess this is probably one of the main characters in Rise of the Rune Lords. Yeah, but I like that. I like that, uh, that glaive that he has. It's kind of bent and wrapped around him. I'm afraid to kind of bend it to try to make it Look normal, I'm afraid to break it, but that's beautiful. Transparent, painted black, rare on a medium base. Look at the the parchment, the scroll tubes hanging off of him, off of his belt. Yeah, this looks really good. Beautiful gold and green. It's got some type of uh, maybe crown or something on. Doesn't look like a crown. Maybe it may be some type of like statue or gem or something embedded into his forehead. I think it's embedded into his forehead because I think the statue shows it too. This is Rune Lord Karzog, 52 of 65. Beautiful miniature. Really, really beautiful detail. Rare miniature on a medium base. Here's number 53, the Stone Golem. I love the flat top head on this guy too. He's on a large 2x2 two two base. He's got a great looking, great looking face. I like him. The stone golem. Yeah. He's got like some ornamentation or maybe a circlet going around the front of his head. I love the the eye sockets and the, the nose socket. Where it's like just dark black. And then this big shiny white grill. Yeah, this is an evil looking miniature. I like this. This looks really good. This is the Stone Golem, rare, 2x2 two two large base, and it is number 53. Number 54, this is a great looking miniature. This is a, a Zaven. This looks like a like an undead, maybe a lich or something like that. Look at that staff though, how the staff is holding this orb. Yeah, I like this. Look at the detail on that robe, holy cow. And the detail goes all the way around the rim of the cloak. This just looks so good. And then around the the open ends on his arms. Yeah, that looks so good. Nice bone. Oh, look at that crown. It's like a bone or skull type of crown. Yeah, this is another great miniature. Zaven, number 54 of 65. It is rare also. Number 55, this is Lamatar Baden. This is another, oh, you know what? This guy looks like the Frost King in Game of Thrones, doesn't it? He's got like a, a sword made of like ice. And then look at his, look at his hand has these ice claws. And then he has his helm. Oh, I'm sorry, his crown that looks like it's uh, ice shards. Yeah, this guy looks, if I'm not mistaken, this looks pretty similar to the, the Frost King in uh, Game of Thrones. But I mean, he does look awesome, though. I'm not saying he doesn't. I do like the, the aqua blue skin and the black eyes and stuff. Yeah, this miniature looks really good. 
Anatar Baden. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Does this look like the, the Frost King from Game of Thrones? So that is number 55. Number 56 is Mock Murian. And Mock Murian looks to be a stone giant. And it looks like Mock Murian has actually got a cold orb that he's fixing to throw as a spell. And look at that beautiful spike club, beautiful gold armor. Wow, this looks so good. I love his pose as he's like kind of running in and charging and throwing this, this either like a water orb or a frost orb. Wow, this looks so good. And his face looks good. All of his Mr. T starter kit is top notch. Yeah, this looks good. Really beautiful miniature. It's on a large two by two base. And in fact, he's actually, eh, he's about, yeah, he's about the same size as the other, as the other stone giants. He's just not on the, the stone base like the others are. But nonetheless, this miniature is beautiful. Mock Murian, number 56 of 65. It is a rare miniature on a large two by two base. This is an interesting miniature. This is the Forge Fiend. And he's got like a transparent stomach to where you can see in of his gut. Oh, and he's got like a window in the back as well. This looks really good. The Forge Fiend on a large two by two base. And it is also rare. He's a big dude. Yeah, he looks good though. Lots of detail. I guess he's like a walking forge, maybe. I don't know. He could be. He's dirty, also. I need to. I need to dust these miniatures off. Long pointy claws. Yeah, this guy's good. I don't know how fast he'd be, but I think even I may be able to outrun this guy. But then again, he could surprise me and catch me. So, I think I probably have a realistic movement of maybe 15 or 20. If we were thinking on a tactical term on a tactical battle map, I probably have a 15 or 20 movement. <laughs> hopefully this guy doesn't have a 15. Hopefully he has like a 10 movement or five. Ah, oh, this is a forge fiend, number 57 of 65. He's on a two by two large base. Number 58 is Nualia. Wow, she looks awesome. She's got like some type of like demonic hybrid arm. And she has a regular arm. She's got like a long sword in it. She looks really good. Nualia, she's a medium on a rare base. I like her hair. It's dry brushed. And you can tell it has a black base. And then, oh my goodness, she has hands on her shoulders for shoulder protection. Those are hands. What is going on with that? I like that. And she's got a couple of huge scars on her belly too. Oh, well, she's been through the, she's been through some crap. Yeah, it looks good though. I love the red arm and the the black claws. This is Nualia, number fifty eight, a sixty five. She's rare, medium. Ah, here we go. Love this many. This is War Chief Rip Nugget, and this is a goblin war chief on another mount. This time on a lizard. But look at that! Look at that long tongue coming out. He's catching a fly. But I believe this miniature is also in the Weeby Goblin set, also. And this thing is super expensive. I think this is this was about. I think this is about forty bucks for this mini. But yeah, he's got a horse chopper. He's got a great looking crown on. Great detail in his armor. I love the red and uh, green and white detail of the lizard. In fact, there's a couple of different greens. I love how the tongue's coming out and he's got like an actual, what is that, called a stirrup or whatever it is that you put in like a horse's mouth to control it. Yeah, that's a beautiful miniature. And then it's sitting on like a rock base as well. So that even makes it that much more cooler. So this is War Chief Rip Nugget, number 59. And it is a rare mini. Now this is a beautiful mini. This is the Young Red Dragon. This is on a large two by two base. And this, this Young Red Dragon just looks, it looks amazing. I mean, just the detail on its on its neck going down to its underbelly and tail that's amazing and then i love the pose as well 
I love the pose. The spikes coming off of the tail, the red, the dry brushing on the on the wings. This is a great looking mini. This was expensive too, by the way. <laughs> but this is the young red dragon. It looks really good. Great detail. Great detail on the head with all of the horns. And then the cartilage kind of coming out of the side. The eyes, the face, you know, the, the hands, the claws. This is a top quality mold right here. Good job on this one. 60 to 65. This is a two by two large base. Young Red Dragon. Expensive. So now here are the, uh, the four huge uh, miniatures. Here is the Karzog statue, like I was telling you. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is huge. This, I think this, well, this did come in its own box. And this was by far, this was along with the Treachery Demon at the end. These were the most expensive minis. And in fact, I haven't even... I haven't even seen these on on eBay. Just the one time, and I bought it. And it does come apart. You gotta you gotta put the uh, you gotta put the arm on or something like that. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, it comes in two pieces. So, but it's very easy to put together. I mean, you just I mean that's all you do is plug the arm in, and then you just take the end of the his scythe and just put it into the other end of his hand, and it and it doesn't even look like it came in two pieces but this thing is beautiful this was i don't even want to tell you how much i spent this is about a hundred bucks so this was this was the most expensive mini for sure yeah it's beautiful yeah and, and look he's got gems in his head he's got like four green gems one red gem i don't know the lore of it but this is a statue i wonder if it comes to life and just wipes everyone in a radius around it that's what i would do if i was running the game i wouldn't care what the uh, the gimmick is on it i would totally do that but yeah this is nice this is the uh, karzog statue number 61 of 65 beautiful miniature here is number 62 this is the lamia harridan this is also pretty pricey also i think this is about 30 bucks all of the huge miniatures were were huge. So let me know in the comments section, did these huge miniatures in the larger Rise of the Rune Lords box, did it come with just this miniature? Or did it also have three small miniatures in it also? I don't think it did. I think it just had the, the huge miniature. But yeah, she looks good though. Something like maybe a, I don't know, some type of, quadrupedal i'm not too sure but i do like the detail though she's got she's got nice detail on her on her scabbard and on her sash and she's got a little mini mr t starter kit she got a good looking face too i like the big eyebrows kind of pointing down in her hair i like the striped tail also looks good what is this like a camel a camel body probably yeah, it looks good though it's on a th on a huge three by three base this is the lamia harridan it is rare and it is uh number 62. here's a big mini number 63 this is a storm giant she looks really good unfortunately you can see she's kind of leaning way back and I've actually tried to repair her to where I put the mini in some uh, warm water for a little bit, and then I moved her up. She was a lot worse to begin with. She she almost literally fell over every time I put it down because she was leaning back way too far. And I can't believe the guy sold me this because this was not the miniature that was in the picture. So he gave me like the worst one he had, I'm sure. I mean, I'm... Yeah, she's got a trident though. She looks really good. I love the, I love the scale mail tabard that the scabbard that she has on. Yeah. Cool boots. Nice uh, circlet. Nice shield too. I love the shield, the wooden shield with the iron rim, and you know even with the details with the straps inside with her arms through them. Looks really good. But yeah, but I, I did heat her up a little bit 
So I'm going to have to do it again, but I need to get her straight. She's kind of leaning way back. But it, it was a lot worse before I before I did a first round of uh, heating up on her. So yeah, this is number 63 of 65. This is a Storm Giant. And she's on a huge 3x3 three three base. Now this was the second most expensive miniature in a set. This was about 60 bucks. I had to buy it from Canada. And this is number 64, three by three, huge base is a treachery demon. This thing looks so awesome. I love the fluorescent green inside of the mouth. And I just ordered a fluorescent green shirt also. So you'll be seeing that one come in. Yeah, this is nice. I love the horns and I love the, I love the claw arms. Yeah, this guy looks awesome. Just all around, all around from the detail on the arms, the legs, the, you know, the spikes on its back. It's got good natural armor on its shoulders, but that face just looks awesome. And those claws look great, too. Mouth looks good, teeth, eyes, great looking mini. So yeah, this is the Treachery Demon, number 64 of 65. This is the last miniature in a set. Uh, it's a pretty expensive one, along with the Karzog statue, and uh, the dragon was expensive. But this is number 64 on a huge 3x3 three three base. It is rare. And number 65 is the Rune Giant, and you can see that case incentive video all right, everybody, there you go. That is the 2012 Pathfinder Battles Rise of the Rune Lord 64 plus one miniature series. Like I said, uh, good luck if you can find these. And, and I couldn't even find a single pack to buy to show you, uh, let alone a full case. So I had to piece this together miniature by miniature. And the majority of the miniatures were about ten dollars or so but i probably had with the the huge miniatures or what cost the money the dragon and the other rares so i, I probably got about 450 to 550 dollars into this set so hope you enjoyed the video please let me know what you think down in the comment section am i crazy to be spending this insane amount of money on these miniatures i i think i am but uh anyways i'm a completionist so Thank you, everybody, for watching. Uh, if you like the video, please do me a huge favor. Give me a like and a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and also hit that bell notification there on the right-hand side of your screen. You'll get notified every time I release a video. So until next time, happy gaming.